Welcome back to Off the Record. I'm Anthony Lopinto. Today, I'll be sitting down with Jason Hoffman, a freshman tennis player who, despite the team's collective struggles, has posted winning records in both singles and doubles play. Let's serve it up. Jason, I want to thank you again for joining me. Unfortunately, you missed my intro where I got to show off a little bit of my tennis skills, but we'll jump right into questions now. First thing I want to ask you, number one, how long have you been playing tennis, and what was the extent of your experience with as far as your level of play goes before you were in college? I mean, were you in junior championships, stuff like that? Just a little bit. Enlighten us on that. I've been playing tennis. This is my fifth year of playing tennis. Before, before this year, I've really, I had four years of high school. I'd, I'd taken a few summer clinics. Uh, and I started out my freshman year of high school. I was just, I was number 13 on the team. I wasn't very good, but I, I worked hard through the years and I was able to work my way up to number two on our high school team. So what other activities and sports did you participate in high school? I played football in high school. Uh, I've, I played football for 10 years, so that was so something. So was it a hard choice to choose between whether you wanted to play football and tennis at a collegiate level, or was football just more of a high school thing? Uh, no, I made it. It was a tough choice. I was originally going to play football. I was going to walk on to be a kicker. But I decided Edinburgh was bringing back a tennis team, and I needed to I needed to make a decision, and I thought this could be a good way to get off to a good start. Uh, I'll definitely see some immediate playing time, which was a big factor in my decision. Right. Now, speaking of coming to Edinburgh, you're from around Lancaster, right? So why did you choose to come to Edinburgh, and how much of a role did tennis play? And was there any kind of like recruitment going on? I know the team has just started back up this year, and so you're playing in your freshman year in the first year that the program is back. So was there really any time for recruitment? There, there wasn't really much recruitment at all. It was just Edinburgh had my major broadcast journalism so I decided you know what that's one of the schools I'm looking at and I figured when I found out about tennis it was just like a nice plus I figured I can go there play tennis and definitely have a shot at making the team which I did. Right. Now in the first match that you guys played, the first match of the program was back, you were the only one to win a match. Now what did that feel like? It, it was it, I kind of had mixed feelings because I mean Obviously, I wanted a team win, but I knew that at the same time, we, we had some good things to take away from it. Uh, I, me and my partner lost doubles. We, we played well, but we had never played together before, so it was definitely something that was new for us. Uh, but singles, I mean, singles, I've always played it by myself. That's why it's called singles. And I mean, I would trade, I would trade a singles win and a doubles win for a team win any day. Uh, that's and th the goal is to win as a team. Uh, that's that's about that. Right. Now that that leads me to my next question. I was going to ask you where that wasn't the only occasion where you've been the only one to win a match. So I was just going to ask how you felt after those matches. Um, I mean, maybe if you can enlighten us a little more. How do you balance your personal success against the team's collective struggles? I mean, is it do you totally not give it that much weight, or is it stuff you can still be encouraged by whenever you have that personal success? Well, I take, I take encouragement away from it because I know, like, as a team, you know, we didn't get swept. We didn't lose 9-0. It was 8-1. It was so as a team, we have something to take away from it. We, all, we have many good things to take away from each match, uh, but it's, it's just striving to improve every day. I mean, even when I win my matches, I say, I still needed to make this shot. I shouldn't have lost on this point. And it's, it's a constant struggle for improvement. I mean, until I'm number one in the world, which is <laughs> way out there. Uh, I'm going to be striving for improvement for myself and to improve my teammates around me. Right. Now, what can a team do to improve? What needs to be done in order for you guys to have more team success? Uh, we just we need to get a fire under our butts and just really get competitive. Uh, you know, there are times where you know, we hang our heads or just you just don't go after the ball or just just fall off the map and you know, we need to be competitive. Just because you lose the first set doesn't mean you're going to necessarily lose the second set. Th anything can happen in tennis. Any, anybody's game can go up or down from set to set. And, you know, if, if you're competitive, you can keep yourself in every match. Right. Where do you see the team heading in the near future? Do you see them staying at this level where they're still just kind of middling? Or do you see them improving quickly? I definitely... For these, for these upcoming matches, I definitely see improvement. 
Uh, definitely pull out some wins that were, I can, I can sense that we're going to get some wins here in the future real quick. Uh, as for next year, I know we do have some recruits coming in. They're definitely going to be you know, around our skill level, but really it's going to make uh, the us as a team more competitive. And you know, a few years down the road, I definitely see this team as being a strong team, one that you know, wins the division, goes to the conference championships, goes far in states. And, you know. How proud are you going to be to be one of the founding members whenever the program got resurrected? What's that going to be like uh, for it's you? It's going to be great. I can, I can see myself coming back uh, in a couple years and you know, saying I, I helped with this and watched them win their matches. But at the same time, I mean, I have still three plus years, so I still have lots of time in which I can contribute. Right. What role do you see tennis playing in your life after college? Will it just be recreation or something greater there? Well, I, I would love for it to be something greater. I, don't, I can't necessarily say that it will be, but it, tennis is definitely a lifelong sport. Uh, I'll definitely be playing tennis for till I die. Right. Now, switching gears a little bit, you are a broadcast journalism major, and you do a radio show here on campus. So tell us about that. Uh, my radio show is... Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays at 9 o'clock and Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 o'clock and you know it's just a just a good way you play some music. What kind of music do you guys play? We play well we have a segment on Thursday which we do all hip-hop we also play some oldies a little bit of rock and it's, it's a we play a wide variety of music it's we just try and have a good time with that. Gotcha so how do you balance school the radio show tennis and your social life? Well, my social life is mainly just reserved for the weekends. Uh, weekdays, I'm either studying or I'm um, preparing for my radio show because that's, that's a good two hours a day, uh, which is Monday through Thursday. Um, tennis is, yeah, tennis, I go right from class to tennis practice, uh, get, a, get a good hour and a half, two hours of exercise in there, which is, that's always helpful because then I don't have to hit the gym as much. Um, but it, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a struggle you know, to make sure that I'm getting my work done. But my work is something that comes first. You know, I'm a student athlete. And I need to make sure that my grades are just as good as my abilities everywhere else. Right. What do you hope to do with your career? I want to work on ESPN, frankly. I, uh, I, I can see myself as you know, someone that covers tennis, football, just ESPN anchors, work, working hard every day. All right, I guess you're used to that with all the stuff that you've been doing. I want to thank you again for joining us today. Best of luck to you in the future, both with tennis, with the ESPN thing. Thanks for joining us, Jason. Thank you.